What's up YouTube, my name is Sam and I work under the artist name of Kayo. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make a lo-fi beat with some electric guitar, maybe some sounds that you wouldn't normally hear in a lo-fi beat. Just play a quick preview of this beat here, then we can jump into the project file and take a look. I don't know if I'm going to release this beat, I don't know if I'm going to take this beat any further, but it's got a really nice vibe to it, so I think I might do a bit more work on it, but just for the sake of this video, I wanted to demonstrate how to add these sort of guitar elements into a track. To start with, we'll talk about the piano. So this here is the Imagero Piano 2, which is a really lovely plugin. I've just picked this up. It has such a great sound for a lo-fi sort of dreamy, chill-hop type beats. We've got a D major, going into an F major, and then down into a C major. And that pretty much plays throughout. There's a couple of different intonations, a couple of different changes that happen. And then you see at the end here, instead of finishing on that C major, it finishes on that F chord again. And this is kind of the base of the track. This is what everything else is built around. Let's go listen to these chords and then we'll see how things sort of build up on top of those. Processing on this piano, it's such a lovely sound on its own. So I didn't actually add anything other than an EQ. And all this is doing is cutting the lows that we don't need, rolling off some of those highs so it's not too bright, and just raising a little bit of warmth in that 200-300 range. After the piano, I worked on a melody for this track. Got here a piano melody, and I'll play this with the chords so you can hear how it really sounds together. lovely and adding some of that warmth and adding loads of character to this track. For this piano we just have a EQ letting in a bit more of the highs this time and then there is a Valhalla Supermassive. I turned the delay down all the way. I didn't want any delay on this melody and I turned the feedback up to almost 50% and then I actually turned the whole reverb plugin down to around about 30%. So it's not in your face, but it just adds a bit more warmth and a bit more character to that piano. Next piano that I added was a Labs Soft Piano. And all this is doing is beefing up those chords. So instead of just playing the D, A and F, it adds another D and A at the bottom here. We're extending those chords as if two hands are playing them, adding a load more weight to the chords when those come in. Take a listen and then see if you can pick that up. What's really nice about the soft piano here is it's just really mellow in the background but it does add quite a lot of weight to those chords. Now I've got all of my piano layers together I wanted to add some atmosphere so I started by adding a pad. This is the Labs Spitfire Azure Piano which is again just a really nice warm sounding pad. It adds loads of ethereal sounding background to the track. On its own it sounds like this. process this sound I've got a Valhalla Supermassive, mix is turned up to 100%, really dense, loads of feedback, really wide delayed sound and then an EQ cutting off everything below sort of that 400-500 range just so all we want is those really kind of ethereal bright tones which is lowered right down in the mix just to sit really nicely with those piano sounds. 
This is how that sounds together and then we'll talk about some guitar. first guitar that I added was this Chill Guitar 2 preset that I have made from Flex and it's essentially the standard Chill Guitar preset with a couple of tweaks to get the sound that I really like. I use this in loads of my songs and it works really nicely with a bit of processing. This is how a guitar sounds on its own. kind of follows that lead melody from the piano but it's a different frequency it stands out really nicely it does get a little bit more busy here in the seventh and eighth bar and a little tip for introducing elements like this instead of just bringing them in sort of out of nowhere in your track introduce them slowly so you see here that instead of coming in on the one it actually comes in at the end of this bar so now with the guitar this is how it sounds So you'll hear the back guitar and the main piano melody kind of playing with each other there. There's parts where the guitar's hitting and then the piano's hitting sort of in between guitar notes and vice versa. It's got a really nice vibe to the way these instruments are playing together. After I introduced that guitar, I introduced another sort of pluck sound and this is a real counter melody and all this is playing is this. Super simple, it's just a background melody. It's a more part of the atmosphere and that just comes in in that second part of the hook to add some more layers. Which is really nice. I forgot to talk about processing on the guitar so let's do that. For this chill guitar preset, what I've stuck on here is an EQ rolling off the high so the sound isn't too harsh and then rolling off the lows and maybe raising just a little bit of the frequencies that we wanted to around sort of that 1500 mark. And then we have Valhalla Supermassive. We've got a delay of about 300 milliseconds, about 50% mix, because you want the reverb and the delay, but you also want to hear the raw sound and then feedback at about 50%. Really simple, but it gives this really nice warm tone to the guitar, but it also stands out because the guitar sound on its own is quite harsh. So you do need to sort of mellow it ever so slightly, especially in a track like this. And then we've just got a bass. This is the classic AE stock bass from FL Studio. If anybody knows of any free bass plugins or cheap bass plugins for lo-fi tracks, do let me know because I like the sound, but I am looking for something else. And bass is just following the root notes. everything together we've got a really nice sounding track now just gonna add some drums and I kept the drums really simple so for the drums here I've just got a Mondo Loops kick and then a wood snare and then a shaker super simple but it's all we needed at this point I might add some more Foley add a little bit more sounds if I was going to take this track further, I'd probably add some transitions, add a few more ear candy bits in there. So that's it. Pianos, a couple of pads and plucks, guitar, bass and drums. Let's take a listen to how this sounds as it builds up.
and you may have noticed that there is some more stuff going on in this part of the track over here. So I actually added a second guitar sound. This is the Nylon Shimmer preset from Flex. I turned the shimmer all the way down because it was way too harsh and then played with the delay, played the reverb a little bit. All this guitar is doing is playing some higher frequency notes, less notes than the main melody. It's another counter melody. It goes with all of those other melodies together. This is how this guitar is playing on its own. Super simple and I introduced that into the bridge of the track here. Everything strips out after that section we just listened to and then we introduce this guitar in the bridge before it builds up and we hear everything together. So let's take a listen. We've just got a couple of pianos, a pluck and a guitar. see as the bridge goes on start introducing that pad ever so slightly and then we cut it and then everything comes back in so this is the final part of the bridge and that's it that is how you add guitar sounds into a lo-fi track. I cannot play the guitar despite the guitars behind me. I can play bass and a very tiny bit of guitar, but this is how I would add guitar into a lo-fi track. I think it works really nicely. It's got more of a dream hop, chill hop vibe to it, but I really love the sound and the way that this has come out so far. Drop a comment if you think I should take this track any further. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see me adding any more instruments into lo-fi tracks, let me know in those comments and drop us up if you enjoyed this video. Peace!